This week, First News has told you about neighbors hearing all the gunshots and being scared to look out their windows. Two Youngstown policemen who responded to the shooting are talking about what they did, trying to make sure there was at least one survivor. As we told you yesterday, the officers rushed the youngest victim to the hospital, but it was too late. Three-month-old Tariq Morris died along with 19-year-old Valerisha Blair and 21-year-old Edward Morris. 27 First News anchor Stan Boney just talked to those officers and is live in the newsroom to begin our team coverage. Well, officers Casey Kelly and Greg Tackett were the second and third policemen to show up Wednesday night at the corner of Gibson and Pasadena on Youngstown South Side. Before that, they were filling out a report at the Byzantine Center on Shady Run Road when Officer Tackett heard the gunshots a mile and a half away. Now, when they arrived at the murder scene, they found the two adults in the car. Edward Morris appeared to be dead. Valarcia Blair was barely breathing. As they were shining their flashlights into the car that had been shot up, Officer Kelly saw what, he, saw what he thought were a pile of clothes, but what was really a blanket over a car seat with a baby inside. Just a short time ago, Officers Kelly and Tackett sat down with me and explained what happened next. I don't remember seeing a baby until Officer uh, Kelly here pointed out that you know the, the pile of clothes that we thought was just a pile of clothes in the back was actually, in fact, an infant. And we, as he said, we broke the door open, and it was just kind of a I believe that the the ambulance company told us it was going to be a few minutes till they got there. And just looking at the baby's injuries, you know, that you know, a few minutes was just not going to be it wasn't going to cut it. Me and him both decided, and we were like, we got to get this baby to the hospital. So we asked we asked for permission actually while we were already pretty much down the road. So he jumped in the back seat with the car seat, and I was driving. We lights and sirens just flew down the road, just try to get there as quickly as we could. When we told him we were coming, we were coming fast. I mean, I was probably doing maybe probably like 120 down South Avenue, lights and sirens, just getting there. And he was he's, he's in the back seat yelling, like, try to go faster. And I'm jamming my foot. I mean, short of putting my foot through the bottom of the floorboard, trying to get the gas pedal all the way down. I mean, that's how quick we were getting there. And get this, after they left the baby at the hospital, they realized that most of the officers on duty that night were still at the murder scene. Officer Kelly said he sat in the cruiser and cried for just a little bit. But then they both knew that the city needed covered, and both of them went back to work. Coming up tonight at 6, the reaction of both men once they found out that the baby had died. Live in the newsroom, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.